Hey, what's up guys? All right, a ton of people have been asking the question, can you vlog on a GoPro Hero 8? Well, I got one like two days ago, I've been testing it out, and as I'm running around doing errands today, I said, hey, let me make a vlog and take you guys along. All right, let's go. Yeah, so I'm showing you a couple different scenarios in the way you can creatively use this. You know, um, probably think I might get the Joby Girl up on mini because my tripod is a little flimsy and if I really get, you know, if I go all crazy with my shooting style, I think this thing's going to be dropping a lot. I'm gonna make I'm trying to get a bag repaired for a camera project I'm gonna stop at a what we call the Walmart in Jamaica and then maybe the post office so I think there'll be some interesting scenarios for you to see with the GoPro and yeah Alright, so I just pulled up to Price Mart. It is basically like the Walmart, one of the Walmarts in Jamaica. You have two here. You have Mega Mart and you have Price Mart. So Price Mart is close to where I live, so that's where we're going. So this is the parking lot, very modern looking, you know what I'm saying? And I have to wear my muzzle, so muzzle on. Yeah, so I did a little hyperlapse test just to show you but you can get creative with a vlog, right? So in here is a pretty, you know, like, like a massive, it's like a massive space, you know? I'm not staying here long. I just wanted to do the hyperlapse, time lapse, and then check out and go to the next one. Whoa, that was a tight, tight little bit of parking there, man. A little tight, you know what I mean? Next spot is the bag place. All right, so first observation, as I thought, it's pretty easy to use, um, pretty discreet. Now my GoPro has frozen up on me a couple of times, and I don't know if it's because I'm using a GoPro Hero 5 battery in it right now. I have the other GoPro Hero 8 battery, but uh, I've had this issue with the 5 because I've owned the 5 before, so I know that it sometimes freezes a little bit, and that's just a thing I think it happens with GoPros. It doesn't seem to happen all the time. But the touch screen is very sensitive. So it's like, I feel like if you touch, touch, touch in the screen, it's just over processing everything and then sometimes it freezes. But so far, so good. Ooh. So for those of you who don't, who don't know, Jamaica has become, I would say the last six, seven years, uh, pretty modernized with within certain parameters. Meaning it wasn't like, you know, wagon carts and donkeys seven years ago you know what i mean it's just that the infrastructure of certain places has improved for example here they didn't, they didn't have this covered parking lot with two levels uh, they built this uh, last year so that's pretty cool uh, because you know during christmas time what would happen is this place gets so packed that the traffic on the road caused a lot of problems over there so they just built a, a proper parking lot here right and as you're gonna probably see on a couple more of the vlogs I make, there's massive construction happening in Kingston right now. Like, I mean, around Jamaica, there's just this wave. Everywhere, houses are building and massive apartment buildings, right? Anyways, right now, as I said, I'm heading to the bag place of the road. I love this weather. This is why Jamaica is just beautiful. I mean, look at that sun, look at that sky. You know what I mean? Vibesy. Alright, so I'm back and I'm going to give you like a couple of thoughts on using a camera. Alright guys, so I'm going to give you my thoughts on the first time vlogging with the camera. Alright, so the first things first, let me just go with the negatives first and I'll give you the positives, right? Because that's easier. You don't want positive and negative, you want negative and positive, right? Alright, so the first thing is that um, 
it did freeze on me one time uh, when I was at Price Mart, but when I was walking back to the car, I was fiddling with some menus and it kind of froze on me and I had to turn it off. That hasn't happened again. And I know sometimes GoPros freeze. I mean, it's, it's a small package with tons of data, so I get it. If it keeps happening, then it might be a problem, but that was the first thing. Second thing is that there is a thing called quick capture mode where you press pause when it's off and it starts recording. However, when it stops recording, it shuts the camera off. So you can't review what you just shot, which I find a bit useless. And in the menu, I can't seem to adjust that. Like you can't tell it not to turn off. So I don't know what to do about that. Thirdly, sometimes the camera feels like a little bit slow, but it's not really slow, meaning it takes a little while to power off sometimes. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time to power on because you really have to press the button. So if you don't, the button is very flush. So if you don't press it, it doesn't come on right away. So you have to just, but I know over time I'll just click and get it right. So those are the three main things I observed. Otherwise, oh, and one other thing, the door for the battery, you have to be very careful with it because a couple times when I opened it to put in the battery, the SD card, it just came off. It didn't break. There is a, a it has a, like a, a very solid attachment, but you know, you, you might think it has more give than it does and it just comes off, but it doesn't seem to damage the unit. But I'm just saying, be careful. So that's number four. Um, that didn't happen with my GoPro Hero 5 at all. And I'm just working with it, right? All right, so the positives. The reason I got this camera is because I wanna go back to my vlogging roots or my journaling roots, you know? I always had a camera on me but back in the day and it, I only needed two criteria whether I was doing photography or video. It had to fit in my pocket and it had to do its task well. Like, did it take good video? Did it have good sound? Did it take good photos? And this camera reminds me of that. Um, because you see, the thing right now is that when you want to create a lot of content, you want to make sure it's as easy to create as possible. And sometimes, you know, having to flip LTO, like, hey, 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 look at me, you know, is uh, takes a lot of energy to kind of generate to do that day in, day out. But with a camera like this, you, you know, it's just, hey, what up, what up, what up, what up? And you keep doing it, right? So it, it hits the check marks for me. I'm still going to be playing around with the settings and I'm, I'm, I doubt I'll be shooting anything in 4K. I don't even think I can edit that on my machine. And I'm gonna be, you know, try to do some other stuff. So I hope this vlog shows you a little bit of what's possible with the GoPro Hero 8. I'm actually gonna put some links below to some potential bundles you can buy on Amazon because uh, the camera I have right now, I mean, I'm fortunate to have had accessories from my older GoPro so I can put it on a tripod. But when you get it out the box, there is no way to put it on a tripod unless you have like a GoPro accessory or something which you have to buy separately. So I suggest if you're serious, just buy a bundle which, you know, you get a tripod, you get the accessories, and you're good to go at the box. All right, if you like the video, click like and subscribe. More content will be coming, and leave a comment. Do you have a GoPro? Do you vlog? Let me know. Boom.